Hi all, it's Silicone Baby, and I wanted to give you a look at Baby Mirabelle. She's so beautiful in red, especially with her skin tone. She just got such beautiful skin, and she's got a plethora of animals surrounding her, cuddlies, and her music box, and her rattle, and her taggy. And she wanted to show you how comfy she was this evening. So here she is. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a cloth diaper, um, how to make one up to fit on a baby uh, the old fashioned way. I think when I was a baby, my mom actually used cloth diapers on me because. They were much more. The disposable diapers were not very popular back then, so this was just a lot more of an economical way to change your baby. And I know this is going to be too far, so what I'm going to do is kind of move this around for a sec. And we are going to use Eliza for our model today. She's not in a lot of videos, but she is going to be in today's, tonight's videos. Bear with me one minute. I don't have to turn this off, turn it back on because I want to just send this to YouTube from my phone. <sighs> Give me just a moment. There we are. I'll just put this to the, to the, what do you call this? High chair. There we are. Okay, Eliza, are you ready? Let's get the basket handle out of your face. I've been doing clothes and stuff for the baby, so the floor's dirty with tags and plastic and stuff. Okay, move Gareth out of the way a little bit. Okay, this is baby Eliza. She's going to be our model. And you'll notice, I'm going to, I just put this on, I'm just going to take it off. These are the old just let stop. These are the old-fashioned diaper pins. Uh, you can buy them at, I got these at Babies RS. They have them at Walmart. I saw them in the baby section. And I'm going to start with taking it off and then show you how I do it from this very beginning. Alrighty. Okay, Eliza is being a very good sport. Okay, she has a pamper on. I just didn't want to take it off because, you know, just didn't want to. Okay, so this is a cloth diaper. Looks like a burp, burp rag, and that's what a lot of people use them for now because, like I said, we use disposables. But these are just fun to use um, for all different reasons, you know, wiping babies' messes up and stuff. And Eliza's ears are pierced. I pierced Eliza's ears. If anyone would like to see a tutorial on how to pierce a doll's ears, a um, reborn doll, or even perhaps a silicone, I would be more than happy to show you. It's not hard at all. Okay, what you're going to do is this is a rectangular cloth. This one is a three-ply in the middle, obviously for holding more fluid, like when your baby wets in it. Okay, so um, what you're going to do is lay it out flat like this. Take the two, take the two inner corners like this and fold them in like so. So it looks like that. And if your baby's, you know, real wide, you can fix it. Just kind of perfect it the way you want like so, but she's not huge. She's quite large, but she's not like a toddler or anything. Okay, so that looks about right. You want this part a little bit more narrow than the back part because it's going to have to go up in between their legs, kind of narrow in the middle. There, kind of like this. And then you're going to take this part of the, this is where you lay the baby on the diaper. Okay. And I'm going to pull my diaper down this way. I'm going to lay little Eliza up on her diaper. 
And see, I'm gonna, this is about where I want the diaper to come to on her back. Uh, so bear with me a sec. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Cheslin, not right now. No. Okay, I want the diaper to come up to about here on her back, and if you need to fix it, just pull it down a little bit. And I'm going to take it in here a little bit. And you're going to fold this front part right here. You're going to take this part and just fold it over like this. However, and you kind of, you might have to, you know, mess with it a minute. And it looks like it's about right, right about there. So let me pull her down. Looks like it's right where it needs to be. If you need to make it higher, you can just unfold it a little bit more. But, and you want this part to come out a little right here because you're going to take the sides and you can either undo it here and bring it over, but I like to kind of double it up if possible. Take the side, bring it over the little corner. Take, this is the first time I've, I've, this is only the second time I've put a cloth diaper on to my knowledge. So I just read the directions and did it. Um, you just stick the pin, watch your finger, because you will poke yourself. But you have to put your finger back there to see where it comes out, so just be real, real careful. Girls, girls, give me a minute. And you're going to bring it back through here. It's a little bit tricky. If you're younger, you might need help from an adult. It's even tricky for adults because you really don't want to poke your finger because it hurts. And you're just going to do the same for the other side. Just take that corner. And like I said, if, you, if it's too narrow and it doesn't reach, you can undo this part bring that over and it might give you a little bit more um, security right here for the, the baby. So, but I'm just going to leave it doubled over since that's how I did the other side. I've got just enough space to work with. Let me undo my diaper pin like this and then take my baby and just fasten that pin again like you did on the other side. A little awkward if you're not left-handed and you're doing the left, this, the right, this side, the right side for her. Okay, and this is the finished, finished cloth diaper. And this looks like I could have come down a little bit further here and fastened that, but that's okay. Just to show you the cloth diaper. I've also got some pink. Well, pink baby pins. Those came from, I want to say, Walmart. Those are cute. But there's little Eliza in her cloth diaper for fun. I think she looks really cute in it. What do y'all think? It looks big from there, but it's really cute. And then if you, you know, also a tip is like if they've got pants that are too big, you know, the diapers sometimes don't hold the pants up. I mean, you know how they make the bloomers and stuff for dresses really big, like the little diaper covers real big that come with little dresses? These will help add some bulk in there to hold the pants of the bloomer um, up for the baby, so, or for the baby's outfit. So that's just a little tip about that. And um, this is Eden Eliza, and she is going to wave bye-bye. Um, so what I'm going to do is just... You know, snap her back up and she'll look really cute. In fact, I'll show you. Because she's going to look cute when I get finished. She'll have her, she's got two onesies on just because I like to keep her warm. I'm going to set this down and let you look at her from down here really quickly while I fasten her back up. Plus, I, need, I needed to change her clothes. She was in that outfit for a couple of weeks because I don't play with her very much since I got my new babies. See how it sticks out down here? It's just cute. You know like the real other diapers do? How we like them to stick out here so it covers up there. She's got the full legs, but they're jointed, and I love this. I don't really like the way she looks like that. Like They're all like frog-like, but I guess that's how they... I like how the 
these legs move better than any other legs. Actually, I like the three-quarter legs, but I like these because, you know,